a trigger guard holster. Is it a good idea, a bad idea, or just downright dangerous? Stay tuned to find out. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the trigger guard style holster. I've been carrying this for about a week and a half now and I have come out with a list of three major pros and three major cons. I, lo I left a lot off that list because I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you think I missed when it comes to the pros and cons of this video. So as I go throughout this review, make sure you are writing down in the comments letting me know if I missed anything major that you guys are thinking of or have experience with when it comes to a trigger guard style holster. And really quick, before we get into the review, make sure you're subscribed and you, are ha or you have post notifications on. When it comes to the winner of the Core Essentials belt, well, I don't know who it is because we're gonna find out together in this video. Towards the end of this video, I will be putting your names in a random drawing and spinning the wheel and we'll see who won that Core Essentials everyday carry belt. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. Let's get into the review. As I said, I came out with three major pros and three major cons. Let's get right into it. Pro number one, well, after a week and a half of carrying, being able to deep conceal with a trigger guard holster is very possible and to me, it is one of the major pros of using this style of holster. What do I mean by deep conceal? Well, check this out. Look how deep you can get that gun in there. When it comes to the traditional style inside the waistband holsters like this, you do have limiters because you have belt clips, you have the ability to adjust to a certain point up and down and you really can't get your gun too far inside your waistband. However, when it comes to the trigger guard, there's nothing hindering you from putting it just a little bit farther down so you don't have to worry about any kind of printing. Now, on the other side of that, I'm not gonna get into it yet, but there is some cons to that. We'll get into that when we get to that list. So for me, the number one, pretty much right off the bat, obvious pro to a trigger style holster is the fact that you can deep Conceal. And number two pro of the trigger guard holster is what I like to call casual carry. What do I mean by that? Well, I like to edit my videos in my media room and I always have a gun on me and sometimes I just don't want it technically on me. So when I'm in here for you know four or five hours editing my videos or shooting the videos, um, doing some schoolwork, working on my stuff. I have little ones in the house, so my gun is either in a safe, on physically on me, or within my reach, and I'm the only one that can pretty much grab it, the door's closed. Other than that, it's on me or in a safe. So with little ones in mind, I like the casual carry. What do I mean by that? It's just having a trigger guard on there, something that protects that trigger. If I'm not gonna be having that gun just you know directly on my persons, but I'm having it lay next to me, I always want a gun in reach as much as possible, especially when I have a door closed and I have my headphones on and uh, I'm just doing my work. I like to have, to know that it's right there next to me without having to worry about a negligent discharge. So accidents happen. Hey, 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 hey. I just shot myself in the- Hey, hey, Tuzzle, Tuzzle, Tuzzle. What? I just shot myself in the- What? I just shot myself in the- Oh, man. Me to the <laughs> Anything could happen. It's not out of the realm of possibility for something to happen where I accidentally pull that trigger, uh, where I, you know, physically do something to manipulate the gun and pull the trigger. It's not going to go off sitting there by itself. However, having that extra safety, or if you're a person who don't have, doesn't have to worry about little ones or someone having access to your gun and you want to have that nightstand carry where you have the gun next to you and you wake up in the middle of the night and in a panic, you reach over to grab your gun and you actually pull the trigger. You don't want that to happen. So having something really minimal that won't get hung up like this is very convenient. Uh, you're able to move the gun around the house with you without worrying about hitting that trigger. So I think that the casual carry is definitely a highlight of something like this. You can always anchor this if you're gonna put this on your bedside to something 
um, on your nightstand or to the bed itself. So when you do go pull that gun out, it'll remove the trigger guard and you're ready to go within a split second. So pro number two, the ability to use this safely as kind of a casual carry style holster. And my last pro that I came away with, well, I'm going hunting next month and where I'm going is about, you know, four or five hour drive south of where I live now. And I do not always want this big clunky uh, tier one holster smashing into my belly uh, for five <laughs> hours. So, you know, having that ability to have my gun on me and within my reach, but in my vehicle, um, laying next to me in a secure spot, still being able to access access it quickly. All you have to do is really, you can either anchor this to your belt and shorten that lanyard so the gun's next to you and you're still able to draw it really quick and effectively, or you can anchor it to, I've seen people put it in the middle of their console and get the right, make sure it's the correct length and measure it out, and then you're able to practice in a holster from the middle console. So that's another option. What you So you, you have direct access to your firearm without having it smashing against your body for a five hour plus road trip. So I think vehicle travel uh, in longer distance situations, maybe a trucker or something like that, will really come in handy with the uh, trigger guard style holster. So just keep that in mind. It's one pro that I think that really stands out. It's a really highlight and I'm excited to be able to use it next week without having to keep my inside the waistband on me uh, 24 seven while driving. So three pros, number one, deep concealment, number two, the ability to casual carry without worrying about the trigger being uh, set off. And number three is going to be vehicle travel. All right, quickly, let's get into that cons list. <sighs> These are my three cons. This is what I came up with. If you have more experience with a, maybe longer than a week and a half than a trigger guard style holster, let me know in the comments what you came, came away with as cons, or you just thought of something on the top of your head that could possibly be an issue please let me know in the comments below. All right, number one con when it comes to a trigger style holster is well, the inconsistent draw pattern. What do I mean by that? Well, so when it comes to a tier one holster or any of you, name your holster, doesn't matter. I'm just talking about a holster that just you know covers your firearm, you put inside, not the trigger guard style. You get a consistent draw. After a certain amount of time putting in the work and the reps, you start getting a muscle memory. There's limits on this. You know exactly the angle it's gonna be at. You know the height it's gonna be at every time you put it on your belt. It's gonna be very consistent and you're gonna get the ability to have that muscle memory and have those consistent, very smooth and fast draws. When it comes to the trigger guard style holster, well, it doesn't always work like that, I found out. You know, the length of the lanyard has to be measured correctly. It has to be, a, if it's too long, well, it's gonna take you too long of a travel to get that firearm uh, disconnected from the guard itself, or it may not even come out because you, you ran out of room. If it's too tight, it's gonna get hung up. It's just not gonna draw properly. So finding that length, and because that length can't be measured you know, consistently every time, can't get it right every time, belts change, uh, your pants change, your shirt, whatever, it could get hung up. You're just not getting those consistent draws. I, I didn't, I put in a lot of reps in this, trying to just, you know, fill, get that muscle memory start to work. You know, a week and a half isn't too long, but it's enough where I know I can get a pretty smooth, maybe not fast, draw going. With this, you know, a couple days in of a lot of reps, I'm already getting that muscle memory working. I know where the gun's going to be. I know it's going to be what the draw's going to be like, what the retention's going to feel like, what that snap will feel like. With this, it, it, it just tended to be all over the place. Another part of that is the fact that it does move around. You don't have a belt clip on there. Uh, there is a little bit of movement, so carrying it appendix inside the waistband uh, or on the side inside the waistband, it just wasn't consistent enough for me. Not enough to be an everyday carry where I'm gonna throw away my other ones and go just straight to this because it's minimalist, it's easy, uh, there's not much to worry about. It's just not there for me. However, doing yard work out in the yard, I just don't wanna wear my big holster and I just want this. Um, using the retention of a very good and sturdy belt against my body, to, to keep the gun against me. I think that that's where I could use it, but as I said, or around the house, but not not something I'm gonna use every day. So con number one is definitely the inconsistent draws that I was getting 
from using this style of holster. And con number two, which pretty much plays right off of that, is the fact that you, if you are gonna use this, you're gonna have to put it in a lot of reps. It's gonna take a lot of practice, a lot of trial and error to really find that sweet spot for you. And even then it may not feel just right. So con number two is really the amount of work that goes in time that goes into getting it uh, where it's safe and comfortable enough to be using every day. So it takes a lot of practice and I put in a lot of reps with this and it just, it, the amount of time I put in this, I could have put into um, any other style of holster and pre feel pretty confident in my ability to get the gun out pretty fast, especially in a stressful situation. I, man, using this every day and having to use this in a stressful situation and something getting hung up or just not the draw not being consistent, uh, it's a little bit scary. So that would be a con number two. It's a major con. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And finally, for me, another con is the fact that it doesn't have a sweat guard. Aww. So with the... Let me just... So with the tier one or any other holster, you do have some sweat guard there. You don't have to worry about it rubbing against your body or uh, getting slick and you have to use a firearm and it's extra slippery. With this style of holster, well, there is no there is no sweat guard there. So it's completely against your body. I guess you could wear an undershirt if you wear undershirts and that might solve the problem. But I did notice without an undershirt on, I tended to get, you know, it's hot still here in Texas and it did get sweaty and I felt it rubbing and just was uncomfortable. and. Uh, when I did, when I was starting to practice this draw, getting sweaty, I did feel a little bit of moisture there and a little bit of, it was it was just a little bit, it wasn't major. So uh, another con for me is the fact that it, it just, it's right against your body and there's no sweat guard there. So what do you guys think? Is there any more cons, uh, the pros to this casual carry, vehicle travel, deep concealment, cons, inconsistent draws, uh, no sweat guard, and it takes a lot of time to really get comfortable with. Is there anything else that I missed that you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about trigger guard style holsters. Not only that, but when it comes to this style of holster, uh, man, it was, it was, and that's the other thing that I forgot to mention. Um, it, this one is this particular holster. It, it tends to turn on my light if you do not do it correctly or you do it at a certain angle. If you do it correctly and get the correct angle, it doesn't turn on that light. So again, another thing that's just inconsistent with it. Okay, so this particular one here, I had to special order, I guess. No company really that I know makes this trigger guard style holster that accommodates a light for your everyday carry. Like this is a TLR 7A and I could not find a trigger guard holster that accommodated light. I found one guy on eBay and he makes these. It was 10 bucks and this is not sponsored and I just have to say it came in a couple days and it was perfect. So if you're looking for one that needs to accommodate light, I would reach out to that guy. I'll leave a link in the comments below if I can. If I can't, then just reach out to me and I'll give you his information from eBay. But I uh, appreciate that guy. I know you don't watch my videos, but appreciate the accommodation for that light. Okay, so let's get into the winner. Let me grab my laptop, get it set up. I'll put the names in and we will figure out who the winner is together. Let's go. So let's get on with the winner of the Core Essentials Everyday Carry Belt. I'm just gonna put your names of the first 24 hour commenters from last video in this random generator. Spin the wheel and we will see who wins. I'm nervous for you guys because I don't know, uh, but good luck to you guys. Let's get it. Let's see. We have zero results, 11 entries. These are all the names. Let's go. Spin the wheel. Good luck, guys. We are spinning. Dan or Tanner? Oh. Tanner, congratulations on the Core Essentials Everyday Carry Belt. I will get that out to you immediately. And don't worry if you did not win this time around in two weeks, I will be giving away holsters. Uh, if you take a look behind me uh, and over here, I have, these are not even all of them. I have a box, boxes full of holsters that I've been testing out. So I can't keep them all. 
I'll be sending them out to you. I'm trying to get them for my Glock, for my sake, all around, because I know you guys have different carry guns. If there's anything specific you want me to test out, let me know. But I'm just going to start sending <laughs> the winners these holsters, because I can't keep all of them. I appreciate you guys, my subscribers, and I hope to see you all on the next one. I'll catch you all later. God bless.